Hello. Welcome to another episode of Misty Bay. We're just going to pick up right where we left off. We had just finished putting some pipes under the ground there. And uh, we're on our way to a busy town. I think we'll start off quickly by uh, expanding this farm a bit. <clears throat> we have no industrial demand, but uh, that's fine. Don't care. We want residential demand, so this will force residential demand. No stress here, right? We don't stress. No stress. This is a real simple game. No reason to overthink. No reason to get too crazy about what we're doing here. This one town I lived in, I remember uh, there was farms <coughs> literally downtown. There was this cornfield and it was surrounded by houses on one side car dealership on the other and then right across uh, right across the street was grocery store and strip plaza it was literally basically in the middle of downtown the guy held out for so long he's still holding it will never sell sell to the town I bet you they've offered him millions to redevelop it <laughs> but, uh, but yeah I think these will get redeveloped I don't think we'll ever have to worry about that I think we will redevelop these at some point. <laughs> I just like to talk about really quirky little things I see in towns. Wow, yeah, so we'll give this a name. So that way it's just not elementary school. Oh, oh, um, Rivington Central? Yeah. have two schools here. Now, I, I did build this one a little bit prematurely. It's okay. This is this elementary school. It's fitting. St. Paul's Catholic Elementary School. Perfect. <clears throat> Get some uh, commercial in here on this road. Yeah. We're really close to a busy town. So close. I guess a few more things to work with. Maybe another tile. No stress. No stress. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do? We do have a little bit of residential demand, but other than that, we really have. You know, the city's not too crazy right now. We're just kind of at a stand still waiting for it to tell us what we need. What do we need? I find about 10% crime rate you can get away with. It's one in every hundred persons committing a crime. 
not even necessarily, I guess, a serious problem. But that's the way it works out. <clears throat> under the road this is just what I like to do this makes sense to me but this is your your happy little world you're free to build it however you like it's whatever you see in your mind it's just the way I like to build to get the results I'm looking for maybe we'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> draw out the rest of these blocks maybe or what's this Actually, we'll cul-de-sac this. I think we're going to cul-de-sac all of this. Because <clears throat> eventually the uh, that rail will be walking through there. And you know what? We don't want to mess around trying to get rail, uh, road connections through it or over it or around it. This can be just a little cul-de-sac uh, subdivision here. Gated community-like. This helps break the grid up, eh? Makes makes the uh, survey lines not look so uniform and standard as well. This gives every little quirk, uniqueness that you can be looking for in your city. It'll make some really interesting zones and land you'll have to work with down the road for parks and uh, specialized industry and commercial. finicky these fence uh, <clears throat> these noted fences getting them in here there we go <laughs> they're stress inducing but you just got to be patient just got to be patient no stress no stress we don't come here to stress we come here to relax enjoy the game we come here to get away from the stress not gonna let these little things bother us so this transformation of this community here is really nice. I think it was well worth it. I think it was well worth it. Makes sense. Makes sense. It goes with the area. It's just me though. You could have left it however you wanted. You could have left it attached and had to work in those roads over top of the railroad or under the railroad or however that was going to work out. We don't know about that yet. However that was going to work. kind of gated communities around towns they're like islands almost they're built <clears throat> far away from every well not necessarily far away even just just a block away from the rest of the town so there's a buffer there something that's causing a division so because of this division they end up building this really wonky road system through there 
to their community because it doesn't necessarily attach or be planned around the pre-existing roads. <coughs> and this gives a really nice look to your town overall when you have all these semi-connected islands of residential. But I mean, you're free to do however you want, like I said many times. This is just me trying to achieve a look. This is how I go about achieving that look. I'm going to continue some of these irregular blocks up the side here. for that. Now we've got this nice irregular shape happening and it's breaking the block without going outside of our survey lines and distorting our road network, our underlying road network, our road skeleton. As I've said, your uh, city's much like a body. The road network is a skeleton, so if you place a good strong skeleton in the first place, then your whole city supports itself. And this is how we can break up that skeleton, the road survey lines, the initial initial squares, and make them look like they're not just square after square. And we didn't even plan for it. We didn't we didn't do anything, we didn't think about it. How we just build. We just build. And things just come together. <clears throat> we don't stress here, you see. We don't stress here. That's the key factor. We just build and work with what we got. No city, I shouldn't say no city, but it's very rare for a town or a city to have a plan that exceeds 20 years because things are changing rapidly the city, with the town. Demands change constantly, quickly. So you can't hold to a plan firmly. So as soon as your plan needs to deviate, and you've planned everything else around that plan, you're now just setting yourself up to have to replan, replan, replan. This way we're just going to build, fill demand. Eventually we'll have to rezone, and we'll rezone. We won't stress. Because we'll want to have some high density down here, I think. Wow. Look at this view. <clears throat> That's a million dollar view. And not only do you have the million dollar mountain view, you have the million dollar coastline as well. Man, this would be an expensive place to live in the future. Right now it's dirt cheap. Land is going for nothing around here. <laughs> this is what happens in a starting of an area. There's no land value. Nobody's come and established anything. Nobody's assessed what's under the ground to see if it has any value. So it just goes, it just sells. Nobody thinks about where they're buying. Towns don't think about what they're developing on 100%. Not until the land has value. Once that land has value, that's when things get real interesting in this game. And this is where I find that land value really plays an effect because it allows you to really get a realistic outcome for your town. Playing with the land values is awesome. A few fire stations here just to get more coverage. There we go, busy town.
get a tile for that, of course. So we need to become a big town to get our next tile. <clears throat> so that's going to be our goal, I think. Get the big tile so that we can get the next... Get the big city so we can get to the next uh, tile. And we can start another little town on the intersection over there. So with that in mind, I think we're going to start doing some rapid and uh, residential growth here. <clears throat> We're going to expand out this network, this grid. All the little things are going to start happening here with this grid because of all these little deviations and crazy little things we've done. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're doing. We're building another little gated community. So my rule, the only rule about a gated community is that it has one entrance per major road, or road adjacent. So here we'll put another entrance, and only one, only one entrance. <coughs> this gated community only wants convenient access, they don't like to get in and out, they don't want people driving through because it's convenient to just pass through. But we do want it so that all the people living in this gated access it from any side of the uh, So from each direction. But we're going to make it inconvenient for most people to want to drive through here. So we're, uh, we're killing two birds with one stone. A little bit of convenience for the community in the area, the immediate area. Very few will, anyways. Like I said, this is just how I like to get the results I'm looking for. There is no right way. set yourself up with your own little rules. These are my rules that I follow. You set yourself up with these little rules you follow. You don't even have to think about the game. You're just playing by the rules. This game has no rules, right? It's a sandbox game. You can almost do anything you want. So you have to think about what it is you want and set yourself some rules to achieve that look. It's just like painting, like sculpting, drawing, you set yourself little rules when you're painting, you get an outcome. You set yourself little rules when you're building a brick wall, you get a perfect brick wall. There are just... But you can set different rules to get the same outcome for building that brick wall. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. You, you, talk, to, you talk to five masons and they'll tell you five different ways to put that brick wall up there. But each way gets a perfect brick wall. <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to say. And you just got to find your little tricks and your little ways to get that perfect city in your mind, perfect town in your mind. And that's, that's where it starts in your mind. You start in your mind, you see what you want, and you figure it out. How can I achieve that look? 
What rules do I have to put in place in order to achieve that look to make my life stress-free so I don't have to think about it? All I have to do is follow some simple rules. Simple rules I set for myself. I get the look I want. Because that's what this game's about. Not stressing and getting what we want. And getting what we want is this is where we have all the power. This is where we have all the power, right here in this little world. You may not have the power in your real life. You may have, you may be struggling with things. Life may be holding you down. You have a hard time getting back up. But here in this little world, you have all the power. You can do anything you wish. Set yourself a few little rules and build. And don't worry about the future. That's the benefit of setting yourself these little rules. The rules care about the future, not you. You just build. So we're going to call this gated community something in here. <coughs> this little gated community a nice name. I guess we'll give this one the name too. This is what you see. You always see these little gated communities have their own little sign. Tells you what their name is. Smith Hills, ironic, perfectly goes there. Prospect Hills, sure, we'll leave that one as Prospect Hills. Speed up the time here, get through some stuff. Get this prospect hill zooming. We're not stressing here, just letting the game play. <coughs> We're almost to a big town. We're in this zone. Build another little subdivision here, I think, soon. Get some more residential units in here. No stress. No stress. Just filling the demand where I see it. Absolutely no stress. Let's uh let's change some of this coastline in the head again, right up against the I feel after a few years what would happen here because the coastline is basically right up against the road as we've already. This would just conform. That's what I want it to look like now. So first the road conforms to the coastline, and now the coastline is going to conform to the road. Only to some degree here, not in the very fat part. Right where it was shallow. Flooding here, and I'm going to change the way this water works on the coast a little bit. But it's going to make it look a lot nicer. Right? Just my opinion. You could have left it that way if you wanted it. If you wanted it without, you could have left it. You didn't have to do that. These are all choices, just choices. Rules and choices. We set our own rules and we make our own choices. That's why we love this world. No one telling us. No one giving us rules. We play by our own rules here. 
So we'll expand Smith Farms to across the highway so they can have a little grain mill. <clears throat> Produce some flour for the community. The community will love that, I think. So simple, absolutely no stress. So I think we'll build a little off-road here to build on. Bring this all to the right height, absolutely no stress. Build a little complex here for this flower mill. don't even plan these things. Wow, look at that. You can get two of those in there. Perfect. Get a warehouse in here. Store the flour. We don't need anything. We don't need anything to store, uh, store corn or whatever plant product because it's just across the highway here. And it's its own product, so it'll be really easy. <coughs> building to another. Get rid of this tail. Like I said, we didn't have to stress and we didn't pre-plan where any of this was going to go. Now this may cause problems for us in the future. We're not worried about that. That's a future problem, not a now issue. about the future problems when we get there. Another reason why I've built this little commercial buffer is so that when we do have to expand this road, there's room to do so. There's room to make it an avenue if we have to. So now that we've got this idea in, I think I might go in and remove this guide road put here for the train track because we now know where it's going. So I think I'll go and remove this guy code. It's way overbuilt. We're definitely not going to build it this way when it comes time to do it this way. I don't even know why I planned it this way. I wasn't worried about it at the time. I was just <laughs> getting it into plan. Like I said, we weren't stressing. We don't ever stress. Let's get this road out of here too. times we talked about this area becoming a train yard and now it's become an industrial yard. That's how easy things change. That's how easy things change. When you don't have a solid plan and you're not stressing about what things need to look like. Flooding would be inclined to make it perfect. I am not. 
I want those houses to flood. What happens when you live up on the coastline? Your houses flood sometimes. <clears throat> Houses flood sometimes. That's the risk of living near a coastline like that. I think it'll be really neat and fun once we get this next town in over here. On this intersection over there, I think that'll be fun. We have a bit of a power problem, but we're not going to let that bother us. We're going to get this road in here. Now this has become the opposite side of this bypass uh, going the other way. So now we've got a bypass going this way to get to this end of town. And we didn't plan for it. The game just told us where to put it. See how simple this game is? There is no stress. Absolutely no stress. Because it's a bypass, it's a highway. We're going to upgrade this all the way this through here. Yep. So we'll use a little move it trick here, I think, to get it in. I should have done this bef with the with in front, but no, in front of the uh, there the thing. But no stress, no stress, no stress about those things. And this is the benefit of building subdivisions like this with no zoning on them, as you could have. You can make this whole section in here a, uh, a highway and people will be able to speed through there because you have no zoning on it. But we're not worried about that right now. In the future, that we might change that. So. No stress. Absolutely no stress. This road parallel straight in here with the rest. Perfect. Now we have a nice little bypass going out this side of town. It takes, it takes traffic off the main road. And those houses are flooding again, but like I said, we're not worried about those houses. Those houses aren't our problem. Coastline does smooth, function smoothly. This is turning out good. Actually, while we have the money, maybe we'll place our bakery in here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll have to turn it off. It won't actually be functioning. But uh, that's fine. Because we don't have animal products right now. But we're not stressed about that. We are going to be using this very shortly. Very shortly we'll be using this. Getting it functional, I mean, so... Let's just get it in here while we have the cash. This is an expensive build to get in, and we're going to have to do something about it down the road. Yeah, there we go. Animal products here, and then uh, we need flour and crops. Probably get an animal farm over there in the future. The flower there. Yeah. And yeah, we'll have to get animal products in here soon. Smith's Farms might do both. We'll see. No stress. Absolutely no 
no stress. So I think we'll call it a day. We'll see you next time.